Good afternoon, traders. This is Kevin Craney with RJO Futures with your afternoon financial market update. Market's trading uh, really mixed here on the day, ending the day flat, uh, and we see interest rates actually flat after spiking here. Uh, early in the morning, we had some data out from China, some manufacturing data that continued to show uh, PMI manufacturing below that 50 level, showing any type of expansion, so we still see a little bit of contraction. Uh, likewise, we got some numbers out of the United States. We had our weekly jobless claims numbers that were that came in a little worse than expected, so that sent the market down initially, and we see the Philly Fed index actually uh, continuing uh, to show some sort of contraction, and that would be the fifth month in a row, and the leading economic indicators here also uh, down a tenth of one percent. Uh, when we look globally at data, we continue to see PMIs across the globe below that 50 level. So there's a real concern coming back into the market about what the strength of the global economy is. We've seen a lot of stimulus. I think we had a large move pre and post FOMC announcement. We've seen the, uh, the Bank of Japan Act. We've seen the Europe Act. But stimulus is not a cure-all, and I think the market is really coming to grips with that, and we're starting to reprice things a little bit here after we've made um, um, a heck of a move after a lot of the stimulus. So I look for bonds to remain well supported up here in this, uh, at this price level. It's going to be a choppy trade until we figure out what levels we're going to trade back and forth from. But certainly right now all eyes are on just how well the global economy is functioning uh, and where we need to reprice risk at. Please give me a call at 888-596-5817 and we can discuss these opportunities and others. As always, remember, futures trading is risky and does, does carry a high degree of risk and is not suitable for everyone.